Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to part three of the Arma Mojave 8S build. As you guys can see, I did take the interior out because I was trying to fit the batteries that you guys seen in part one, which I decided not to go with. I decided not to go with them for the simple fact that they're just too tall and they're very heavy. So, which ones did I get? The 7,000 mile thing? Yes. Yeah, okay, so I'm going with the Z pack, the or the Z lipos, two 4s, 7,000 milliamp batteries, and they'll fit in here perfect, and they're not too heavy. But in today's video, what we're going to do is we're going to remove the center diff, and we are going to use these silicone earplugs. Now, if you guys know my on my BLX version, I use these wax pillows. And nowhere on the website that I went back to the website and looked, there's nowhere that says silicone. There's nowhere um, on the packaging that says silicone anywhere. But I do have these in my center diff of the BLX, which Vinny just pulled out. And we're going to rip into this and see, uh, see what it looks like. We're also going to be installing this PPS motor mount kit which I'm very glad I did if you guys seen in the other video I was unsure about using this $20 mount because PPS did not have this kit in stock and let me tell you you guys order from this company they got bam like shipping it was seemed like it was only I got it in like three to four days uh, this is just a cheap eBay motor mount and I am NOT using this piece of garbage all right I'm gonna go ahead and start tearing uh, the center diff part and we shall return All right, what I want to do now is compare both these pillows. As you can see, yes, this one's missing one because this went in, into the other axle. I just want to get a feel. That does, feels like silicone. I mean, I know it said they're wax pillows. Maybe some kind of synthetic type, I don't know. Well, let's see the difference here. I'm pull one of these out. These feel exactly the same as these here. I mean, they they feel the same. I feel no difference at all. The only difference is, is that this brand here just doesn't say silicone on it anywhere. But when it's holding up. I got it, I have probably what would you say, Vinny, on that diff? That, at least five rooms yeah. on it, like four or five, four or five. Thing? Okay, four or five rooms. So uh, here in a second, we're going to take a look at that and see what that looks like. The gears still. On it. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, the gear is still it's stuck in here. Uh, that's how packed it is. Let me get a. The pliers. I'm going to go ahead and pull that out. As you can see, well, it's still in there. And you can see that it turns very, very tightly. There you go. Now you guys can see the wax in there. Oops. And I'll show you how I install this, then you can put, put that back together. So for the BLX diff, I pulled these gears out. I pulled the gears out, and then I put the wax cube down in there and smushed it in 
along with all the gears and just kept pressing and pressing. Then I put it together and rotated it and that's where it sat. I don't see any difference if I just pack this on the top. So I'll take this blue silicone earwax and I'm just gonna press it on in there. Just get it in as tight as I can. And yes, I'm leaving the, the diff fluid in there. I'm not pulling anything out. There was very, very little in there anyway. I mean, I'm not trying to fully lock it. But this is going to definitely be pretty, pretty close to locking it. Okay, so there you have it. I have it packed in there really good. That was very simple. Didn't have to pull no gears out. Didn't have to do much of anything. I am very sure that this is going to work. So what do you guys think? Your choice. Um, th this one's been working fine for me. Uh, we'll see how these go in the, in the EXB. Okay, everybody, this one here is the old one. And as you can see, I could just barely turn it by hand. It's pretty tight, but it turns. On the new one, I can't turn it. I mean, oh, there it goes. It's turning ever so slightly. But man, you really got to put some power in it. So this one's locked up a little bit more than the other one, and uh, maybe it's the way I maybe it's the way I put the wax cube or the uh, silicone earbud in there. Uh, that that could be a possible chance, but it does turn just very hard. So now we're gonna go ahead and install this PPS motor mount kit. Look at that! Isn't that beautiful? Man, I can't wait to get this going. There's some of the other parts included. This is their combo kit. I believe I paid $127, I think, for this kit. Uh, and of course, I'll leave the links below where you can buy this set. So we're gonna go ahead and get set up to install the motor mount. All right, Vinny's gonna go ahead and get this uh, kit installed. All right, and these are the cheap ones that just spin, right? Which one do you have? These four here? Uh, these two. These two. Are, these two are in the plastic. All right. So we're gonna need to get a different. Uh, we're gonna get like an actual Allen key. All right, everybody. So we're gonna need to use an Allen key for this. I could put a little bit of heat on it to help break it, but I want to see how well. Yeah, we're gonna. Looks like we're gonna put a little bit of heat to this. And what I have here, which I'll link below, is this little cheap, you know, mini torch works just fine for jobs like this. Just want to get it right on the bolt. So, just like three to five seconds, seven seconds, and that should do it. And then you, wow, it's still it's on there pretty good, man. Okay, I'm gonna apply a little bit more heat. Because we do not want to strip these screws or these bolts at all. I don't feel like doing any drilling or nothing. Oh, there we go. That one popped. And you can use the drill for the rest of it. And this one. There you go. All right. So we're gonna let Vinny do this. I have to step out uh, to go start up the grill for dinner tonight. And uh, we'll let him go at it. So here they give you some nice, clean, written, some picture instructions. It's very simple how it would go together. Uh, we're here to show you how that's done. Vinny's just laying everything out to get it prepared. I mean, that is sharp, man. Nice machine work there, guys.
And then maybe uh, we have to get them to buy one of these loof lighters for lighting charcoal pits to take and loosen up the Loctite on the arm of <laughs> RC cars, right? Uh, all right, everybody, we're, we're making a decision here whether we want a Loctite. I'm just not, I'm going to just have them Loctite what's getting bolted to the frame, uh, just a little dab on there, and uh, that's, what, that's what we're going to do for this build. We're going to get our center differential in. kidding guys check this out these differentials I'm assuming that the new one has a bigger bearing than this one that's weird because the new diff from the it from this truck does not fit these mounts I didn't read anywhere Does not fit. Oh man. I'm guessing the shafts are bigger. I wonder if the inner diameter of these bearings, I wonder if they'll fit these shafts, but then we gotta go through all that work taking it apart. Okay, well that really blows. Um so naturally this one won't fit the other one, will it? I think it might because that's Alright, we're gonna see if that one will fit here, and guys, I'm sorry, we're just gonna have to use this one here. Yeah, that slips right in. That slips right in. But that is yeah. weird. Why doesn't it? I think they, how they machined it, they machined it tight for those bearings. Yeah, because that fits good. Yeah. All right, let me see the other one. Oh. You look, you put it in. It's. Yeah. yeah. Second. Okay. These are thicker, so it, it hits. Okay. This is longer. Well, everybody, maybe you guys can help me out here for right now. I'm gonna this will fit in my stock BLX. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and swap them out. I mean, I gotta have. I want to get this thing running. Uh, maybe I'll co I'll contact uh, PPS later about this. It, it was probably in their website, and I just didn't see it. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna just go ahead and continue to build using. Uh, with these ear, these uh, wax pillows that are inside the BLX center diff, that's what we're going to use. All right, Vinny, go ahead. So I'm looking at the website now, and it said that it will work in all Arma 6S BLX cars. Doesn't say nothing about the EXB, so there you have it. If you have an EXB and you want to use this mount, 
Um, probably not going to work out good for you. Or if there's something that we're doing wrong, please leave a comment below. And uh, I'd really like to use what come with the the EXB, but that's okay. We get to test the center diff and the uh, BLX, I guess. All right, guys, keep in mind when you're putting the roll cage brackets on that you, uh, they, that it does go on a certain way. Uh, he was having a heck of a time getting them, so make sure when you get it, let's see, when we get the other one out, I'll uh, see if we can compare the difference. You tell the length. Okay, so if you look at them, okay, there is definitely a difference. I mean, you can just look at the back bar here and just look at this one. So just make sure you guys install these on right. Uh, this one goes in the back. The, uh, or that goes in the front, front. And then this one goes in the back. Yes. So if you guys get this piece here with the big fat piece right there, you're going to put that on the back. Install it on top of the... Oops. And you can see that it has a like a ridge, like a notch out there. And obviously that's going to go down. <laughs> I was looking at you when you're gonna do it. That's like the one day I, when I did the wax pillows and those uh, the center diffs of the, the BLX, I uh, put everything together and forgot to put the drive shafts in. I dodged it to make sure I got those in. <laughs> Everybody, check that out. I think Vinny did a great job installing that piece. All right, again, if you guys can explain to me or whatever you've done to make your PPS mount work in your EXP, let us know. So far, we had to use the one, the center diff out of the BLX. But that's okay, because now the BLX is going to have a nice upgrade. And I'd like to also mention that we did do the M2C Racing extended wheel hexes like we did on the BLX. One last thing before we wrap this video up, is if you guys would like me to pull these T-Bone Racing bumpers off, front and rear, disassemble them and reassemble them for a whole other video, let me know. 
and uh, we'll see if I get enough requests I'll go ahead and do that otherwise they're very simple and there's some great videos out there demonstrating how to put these together so simple all right everybody stay tuned please like comment subscribe